So this is me celebrating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys have been following this writing journey with me so to say that I am a slow writer as we all know is an understatement but I mean that's just who I am that's just how it is and so it took me a long time to get to the point where I just embraced that I just don't write as fast as I would like to a lot of it has to do with time constraints due to other like responsibilities and things like that. But also some of it has to deal with anxiety, not putting too much pressure on myself, blah, blah, blah. So when I've been doing, you know, these whip updates, letting you guys know what I'm working on, um, I've had some times where I've had some really small word counts and then I've had some that are a little bit better than others, but mostly... I'm, I'm doing about, you know, a thousand words here and there, which in the grand scheme of things is not a lot, but for me, every little bit counts. So as long as I have word, new word counts every month, I feel um, positive and productive. But with that said, I'm very excited to announce that I have a larger word count than I would usually have. Now, this is still not um, a really big word count in terms of what other people are doing like on a daily basis, but I'm not comparing myself to other people. This is just me, y'all, just me. So let's see what I have. Total words that I wrote since the last time I made one of these videos is about 4,000 words. So <laughs> again, that doesn't seem like a lot to some people, but for me, that's a feat and I'm very proud of myself. The downside to being so proud of myself is the fact that I have to admit the main reason why I was able to have so much time to write was that I had a hurt foot for a couple of days and I was literally laid up in bed. But um, aside from the pain of my foot, I was like, I might as well use this opportunity to do something that I never have time to do, which is write. And I did it. So turned a kind of a downtime into some uptime. So let's look at what I actually did since the last time I posted one of these videos. So I'm gonna start with my toy box of games. Um, that's that whole kind of novel and anthology thing I've been doing, which um, I have another video coming out very soon. I went to RavenCon um, this past weekend and I'm putting together a video for that. And I learned at RavenCon that this project that I'm working on might fall into the new newly popular kind of growing in popularity genre of game lit which that wasn't my intention but after talking to a couple of people about it, they're like oh yeah that's might fit right in there with the whole game lit thing but, but aside from that I'm just excited about my word count so for now new words that I wrote for the um, toy box of games 2,631 so yeah, that, that was pretty good for me. I felt good about that. Of course, there's other stuff going on with that as far as me incorporating previously written material into that story. That's a whole other word count for that project. The total word count for that, um, I'll have to look it up later, but I want to say that project is somewhere around like 8,000 words. I am hitting a wall still with my Amateur efforts to try to illustrate. Again, I have some ideas that I'm working on. So far, they're not working, but I'm going to continue plugging away at it. And so hopefully at some point in the future, I will have um, Margie Finds a Home illustrated. But right now, that's kind of on hold. Uh, now let's look at Twilight Moon. This is another one where um, I've been kind of working on it for a long time and I'm just in the plotting phase of it where basically I'm trying to fit, flesh out the whole story and then go back in and add like the details and so I think last time I did this update I mentioned that I had finally come to a critical decision on how I was going to depict like a villain type character for the story so anyway, I didn't have a whole lot of new words to add to that since I've been doing a lot of outlining, but new words for the Twilight Moon are 353. 
So again, not too shabby. The crazy thing about it is, is I did um, a lot of writing. Well, not a lot, but I mean, you've seen my numbers. But I did a lot of uh, writing for me towards a project that I had already previously published. So my book, let me get it out here. Yes. And you know, I got time for book reviews. I decided to do an update for it since I was going to be doing a presentation on it at the RavenCon because I realized I wrote this a long time ago and a lot of the stuff in it is still relevant, you know, but some things have literally changed some things that weren't around then that are now and vice versa. So I did an update for this book where I basically first took some things out and added some things. So the overall like addition to the book was about 1000 words. I did not, um, do a complete like new release for this so anyone who already had a copy of this like say on their kindle or something like that they had it on like smashwords or you know ibooks whatever there is an update for it so you can just download the update uh, but anyone who's getting it moving forward is getting the updated version and i've also updated the print book as well so that was a thousand words towards that project and so that is what I wrote technically in the month of April, but you know, I'm doing these like from video to video. So I'm excited about that. I am also excited about the video that I'm, I'm getting ready to put out there where I kind of wrap up my experience at um, RavenCon 2023. And thank you guys for your support. I'm just, like I said, I'm excited about the fact that I was able to write so much and I'm hoping that I'll be able to continue writing moving forward. Until next time, guys, stay safe and be blessed. Hey, guess what? If you like what you see, you can totally subscribe to this channel. You could also give it a like and leave me a comment. I would totally love that. Okay, bye-bye.